it's kind of an action, it's kind of a comedy, it's got like a little bit of a rom-com thing between Kristen and Zach that's kind of sweet, and um, it's sort of a, a heist that's pulled off kind of by the, the worst criminals you could imagine. Well, I remember in, um, I think it's in uh, Body Heat, Mickey Rourke uh, says to William Hurt, like, any time you pull a crime, there's 50 ways you can screw it up. If you can think of 37 of them, you're a genius. And I think that our characters couldn't even think of three ways they could screw it up. So I think that's the problem. It, it's one of those, it's a little bit, you know, falls under that category of you can't make this stuff up because it's so crazy, the, you know, what actually happened in real life. Um, so I've been sort of surprised here. So wait, he really did go high down in Mexico? They really did hire someone to go kill him down there? Um, it's a bizarre story. I've really enjoyed having him around. I met him um, the first day, and um, you know, Zach plays David Gant, and so uh, I think it's probably been nice for Zach also to have him around. But um, yeah, he's like, uh, I think that's what made, allowed him to be able to kind of pull off that job is that he is such a nice guy and that you wouldn't um, expect him to, uh, to have robbed this place. I think ultimately it's kind of a comedy, and I think that Zach, aside from being really funny, also kind of is able to make it kind of, you know, he's from North Carolina, so he kind of, I think, knows he's sort of, um, you know, this kind of character type, and so he's able to bring a lot of authenticity to the part. The character I play is called Steve Chambers, and he's kind of fancies himself sort of an alpha dog and the guy that's kind of pulling the strings and uh, not a, uh, you know, a tremendously likable person. Um, I think he just kind of wants to look cool, and, uh, and that's kind of a relatable thing, so... <laughs> The way I'm able to convince them is that he does sort of, he is sort of persuasive. And people, like I was saying, that he sort of has kind of positioned himself as the alpha dog among his group where they all kind of uh, get their marching orders from him. The relationship between, between me and Michelle um, he was played by Mary Elizabeth, who's great, is it, it, it's a little bit like a lot of marriages where at first it seems like, okay, the guy is sort of, you know, kind of dictating policy, but then you kind of realize it's really her that's kind of uh, has the upper hand, and she's almost able to manipulate uh, me. And, um, yeah, so I think it's a funny dynamic between them. You know, when I first became involved with the movie that, uh, that Zach and I were going to do it and they hadn't figured out who was going to play the girl, so I was excited when I heard that Kristen was going to do it uh, just from, you know, thinking that she's, you know, really good and funny and stuff. So I was excited when I heard she was going to be in the movie and, uh, and then now that we're working with her, it's, I think she's great. Jared Hess is directing the movie, and um, he, uh, you know, that's, that's usually kind of the, the feeling of 
on set is usually kind of starts with the director and then Jared is um, so kind of easygoing and uh, but also knows kind of what he wants so you feel that somebody's steering the ship but uh, but I think he kind of encourages us to you know to do stuff uh, or to try any ideas that we have so it's nice to feel supported in that way. I think that, um, yeah, there there was sort of a, um, I guess, a choice to be made with the tone. Is it going to be, you know, because some of the stuff that is, that's happening is sort of dark, you know, we're trying to kill David Gant, but uh, it, it's a little bit, you know, you know, a movie like Fargo, um, the stuff that's happening can still sort of be funny, and... Um, and I think that's what, uh, what this movie ends up being.